Smolder hasn't looked insane in NA yet. Really? I feel like in NA, it's usually getting to its scaling point. Oh, you think so? Succeeding. Yeah. Okay, I, I hope that's the case. Uh, we see a scaled... Uh... Oh, they ran five top. I guess because... I mean, it's a, it's a range top laner. This is actually pretty common. Yeah, yeah, yeah a lot of like this is common. Golden Glue, the Hunter Thieves coach. What was the matchup I remember? There were some matchups where you'd have to do this. Right? That, to your point, I think it was Lucian J's. And I, I wanted where both teams would pictures go pictures five top. Yeah, yeah. When it's range versus range, top about, mainly, right? Not melee versus range, because melee versus range, you pretty much take control either way. But I guess having... I mean, they didn't even ward for them, right? Usually you send people top to put a ward for your laner. I do think but yeah, yeah. They, they didn't ward. Being second place in the regular season... Is also, Sniper went That's Comet, which is fine. I'm, I'm, I'm still a fan of uh, However, Conquer more for the tenacity as well. Right. So, yes, now you can't really go tenacity, aside from like Mercs, I guess. Games in Cloud Nine. But I think the reason or gauge, but that's really far from now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Individually, the Cloud9 players have 13 LCS titles and 4 MVPs. The 100 Thieves players have 0-0. Zero and zero. But two more regular season Dang. games. So no, they're just waiting in there. There huh? is a huge resume difference between these two teams. But if hundred thieves, how much do you think the playoff the experience five, is going to affect? Really get to prove themselves. Yeah. That's the thing I'm actually worried about. Is fraud, I, I don't know. Like, like it's a different game. Playoffs is a literal different game than normal league. I feel like it's like it's different than uh, BO1s rather. What do you think about mm -hmm. that? So, Sorry, that's been oh, Nick with the 30 months. Yeah, thank you, bro. Yo. Thank you, I mean, playoffs definitely is different. I, uh... I always felt like playoffs made it easier for me to play, though, because having the cushion of more games, I feel, allows me to not get as nervous, because I can get a game to warm up. I usually end my first games in play in series games, but then afterwards, I feel like I've always played pretty well. Oh, that's not good. Oh, my God. She... Well played. Yeah, you have a point. That was really well played. Yeah. With the skill River shot. saves the wave though. Yeah, he's actually rolling. Both junglers knew that wave needed the crash. Jojo and Blab were the ones who executed. It's oh man, that really sucks. Oh, and do you know what uh, Jojo's solo queue account is? Uh, I have no idea actually. He probably plays on a secret one, is what I'm assuming. Wait, did you hear what they just said? Wait, what did they say? Jojo typed regular season matters after they got the skill. Oh, are you serious? Apparently. Oh my god. Flick, blabber is in there. That's crazy. Quid goes down. That sets okay, we can't let that slide, Quid. So well. no, we just we can't let that slide. And I really like no, honestly, Jojo is so funny because he's marks his opponent with the trash. Wave, but then flashes Dude, Quid is getting hit by all these actually. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, so did, did you say you, you, you did, did know his uh, count or no? No, no, I had no idea. Yeah, also, okay. just in terms yeah. Of the I played against a Talia the other day and I got destroyed like the most I've ever been destroyed. So getting that kill and, and someone said it might have been Jojo and I believed it. So wait, what's his name? If you look around, it was a bunch of J's. Oh, okay. That might like, be him. I believe it. Yeah, no, I believe that that's a Jojo name. Yeah. So and he's playing Talia, so maybe maybe it is. I don't know if it was him, but what I noticed is that that Talia was really good at utilizing the work grounds. So as we're looking at our, and our using the movement to you how secure the W's like later on. It felt really hard to play. I was playing TF. You know, I actually didn't know Jojo plays Talia. Like, I knew he plays it, but I didn't know he plays it that well. I don't know. He might, he might I haven't not have seen him play it. Mm. Yeah. But it makes it easier for me to cope if it was him, you know what I mean? But they can also sometimes play a little bit too hard, get a little bit too hypey about it. And you can see there's your comparison right there. KDA was higher for Fudge, solo kill for Sniper though. This kid wow. is the solo kill king, man. Yeah, and I think the big thing that I really like about crazy. Sniper is in 14 defined, games. Defined his entry into the yeah, that, that's pretty insane. Been how willing also, everyone, it, people did not like Fudge his first year. His lane oh, he's dead by the way here. He's yeah, he just dead. He's actually dead. Oh, 
Jojo Pune with the solo kill in mid lane. Oh, played. This is oh why they, they picked it on three. And I mean, can protect it. Uh, I, I think we should have just first picked Talia, to be honest, over anything and flex it. But maybe maybe they, they're scared of Jojo counterpicking it too hard. Or something, I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I doubt that this is how the matchup is supposed to go. Yeah, that's also true. <laughs> There's no way that I'm blaming Joff right now. I'm blaming Joff. I actually I actually the it's hard to bring this up again but the Talia I played against also went triple tonic which is not normal so oh are you serious was, like, okay okay yeah and Jojo's yeah. going triple tonic okay I might, might have actually been him a really a really good seismic shove and he has I mean, he, to be honest that's like the fourth one he got hit by Needs to like, let that yeah. Crash. He needs to let Jojo hit I don't know what's happening. And be a bit more yeah. I think they were trying to it's all good. It's so winnable. But he just got just super difficult. Talia, to Talia's had like a weird shift from being weak early Wait, to he's being no strong. Guy. Oh, this guy is dead. Nice! Oh my god, he killed oh. Jojo. Wait, Jojo's gonna die now. And they see he has Wait, no, no, he has flash, yes. <gasps> Wait! Wait, oh, I thought... I Wait, thought River I was gonna River flash for him. What? Yeah, no I flash. think River should have W'd and not E. Tragedy, and then if he flashes the wall. Oh yeah, follow? you're right. You're yeah, right. That's such an important contest for I actually, them too, because like I said, it also. My Zinzao kind of is like the only jungler I can play. Can <laughs> and so I'm a bit of a Zinzao kind of demon on the mechanics. With her. That's one of her I think Jojo had to flash the W, but I guess it doesn't matter once he wastes his E. Wait, a Fudge might be in trouble here. Oh, never mind. Uh, they, they should get out by the way. It's TF. Okay, no smite. So this is gone. Yeah, the blobber gets set. Yeah. He doesn't want to queue in because he's going to take a lot of damage. How much of a CS lead does TF need for it to feel like it's a successful laning phase? Uh, I think it's good so far. What he has is pretty good. But I think he needs like 20, maybe. 15, 20. But I really think what he has is very good so far. Sniper's going to die here to gank. Jojo's about to die. I mean, he has Ninja oh Tabby though, so maybe not. River doesn't have enough to guarantee the CC. Now, yeah, I know, he's dead. Ganked by Blabber. Top side's piece. not looking good for the 100 Thieves. As Sniper it's it's not many because TF actually scales pretty well, right? Like, you don't yeah, need... Yeah. You don't need a big CS lead. Yeah, even if you're yeah. even farming, it's good. Yeah. yeah. But what he has is very good. Which is I mean, now for really sure. Now for sure. Yeah. How they drafted, I was That's a really bad death because he he knew he was top, right? Carry comp, you know? He knew yeah. the jungler was top side. They take a kindred or something. They play for him like he's military. That really sucks. Now TF should like just win. Too, because again, his understanding of like where dominate. He on the map, how he can combine, where he needs to shut hundred thieves down in their solo lanes because this is a team that primarily plays through those solos. How many they souls does Berserker do. have? Forty one. Wow. Wait, that's a lot in eight minutes, by the way. Able to generate yeah. Solo kills on Wait, that's like crazy, by the way. Something that is likely to happen. This that that is a lot. That that's one of the things I was mentioning about the matchup. I feel like this matchup is really good yeah. for the Senna Tom. That's Tom's what? a good matchup into Nautilus, and Senna farms Tom, or Senna farms any melee that can't go in. And when you have a Senna, or excuse me, when you have a Smolder, you can't ever go in because you'll never win. Now the difference yeah, I agree. I agree with so that. that Cloud9 looks their best when they are yeah, I guess. The early uh, I, I mean, Huey is very good into Talia, right? Like, scales really well as, as well. Like, scale, outscales Talia, I think. Better in team fights, probably, depending on the comp. But what I wanted to do is first pick. Uh, first pick Talia. Give Smolder. Give Smolder. I think they first pick Nautilus. I'd say. Oh, did they actually? Yeah, it was oh, first pick Nautilus. What the hell? I've not and seen that I think C9 did Senna Tom, and then 100 pick Smolder, and Aatrox. And then a 3 pick Talia. And then they oh, banned oh, to protect okay. it. I think mean, that's what happened. Yeah, because I guess I missed out on the pick ban. Yeah, yeah. I think, honestly, I think... Polish off that list. I don't know if I think Is people that, have learned how to play against Way more. I'm not sure he's like, say, like the god ocean, of scaling. Right? Mm -hmm. And Talia scales really well, even though she yeah. doesn't have a damage ult. Well, he has no flash. Okay, well, he is so dead. Nice. He gets the shutdown nice. too. Perfect. Shutdown. 
Jojo got camped so hard. Yeah. <laughs> but. And that actually evens the mid lane, if you can believe it. The 2 0 Jojo. Oh, he was just 0 2. Bounty. The wave got caught yeah. by quit afterwards. He's actually. Uh, what are we doing about this Drake? I think we should give this Drake again. Because we have Smolder. And this is where. Senna's, like. I mean, Senna's 52 stacks. I don't know. I think we give it because our mid laner has to base. And we don't have mid laner alt. Yeah. Quid's also going. Uh, Luden. Which is pretty aggressive. Almost. I almost never see this item anymore. I almost always see Seraphs instead. Oh yeah, that's true. He's not going Seraph, so... Do you like this build? Um, I feel like... The, there's a lot of errant damage in the game now that I feel the extra survivability just allows you to do more damage and allows you to side lane a lot easier. I feel he's going to be at risk of just dying to TF whenever TF has a timer to go to a side lane. Like if, if, if Huey is ever by himself on a side lane, he can't exist if TF has ult. Oh, or he can't use yeah. his like E, because if he uses his E, then TF just ults on top of him and he he gets killed in the stun. He also didn't go Mercs. Do you think that's fine? Quay? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's fine. Against, like, I think that's fine. I don't think he needs Mercs. It's, oh, okay, okay. It's that. What are they going to do? Mercs against Talia doesn't really do anything. And it's really just the TF that you're worried about. Yeah. But I think it's too defensive. I also think. Not to mention he has a 12 the, the ch how cheap Ionians are are such a big bonus about snipers very you got a lot of ability haste you get some of spell haste and you get the move speed yeah it feels really good surprisingly successful because yeah when he first came in the league a lot of people thought he was bad but within that same split he actually yeah I see title. that makes so a lot of sense now he has his loot and stuff younger top laner oh, good hook. This... Putting a two sniper early oh okay I mean I'm, I guess I'm surprised they don't ult there. Of a here, oh, he's actually dead. That's the you guys are he's not thinking about TF. TF can just river. push top yeah, ult Jeff, whenever he wants. Know, okay, you know, yeah, also not first year into the LCS, respecting the, the JoJo flash. Okay. Oh, a, a TP, nice. Uh, this is... I don't know if I like this TP. He, he should know he has flash here. Yeah, but I think... I think Wait, Ayla might be dead here. Oh, so and they don't well have played. enough damage to kill Wait. Vulcan, actually. He has flash. He has flash. flash away. Yeah. Nah, he's dead. He's dead. Oh, he's not dead. Oh, oh that my is god. This game is actually so doomed. Wow. That's a 70 stock set in 13 minutes as well. Dude, that's more than he had in 25. That's not... Yeah. He's on the right track to get uh, 100 before 20. Which is, like, insane. Yeah, and now... So I feel like C9 is just winning through mechanics. They're not really doing anything macro or like team based. It's just oh they're bottling outplayed a two v three. Oh Jojo got two solo kills or like got a gank. Yeah yeah you're right. And then it got a solo kill. I feel like the only big team plays they made was the gank call and the TF ulti onto the Lee Sin. Do you think that's a good sign or a bad sign for 100 Thieves? Like, do you think it's good that they're getting outplayed just only mechanically and not team plays? Uh, I think it's still bad that they are getting outplayed like that. Mm. But I think, like, it's not the worst, right? Because I feel like yeah. 100 has had better team plays. Like, I feel like that TP is a good idea it just happens just to not work yeah 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 i, I agree actually i still think if there's zero like if 100 thieves is zero 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 like let's say 15 to 20 minutes in which is unrealistic obviously mm -hmm. uh, they're gonna be better team uh but yeah in general or like right now like in general, in general. Okay, this game okay. is already kind of difficult. Like they yeah, need I mean, they need a long really time hard. to for Smolder to hit. Like they can still win, right? For like Smolder and 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 Hui. 
Uh, but yeah, they're, they're, they're down a lot of gold now, 5k gold, uh, 4k, mm -hmm. and Talia just got full tower, full gold. I like what C9 did there. They uh, faked like they were going to contest Herald, and maybe it wasn't even a fake. Maybe it was a, uh, if it looks like we can contest this, we'll fight it with with Talia TP, while Talia is just pushing bot and getting first tower. Yeah, yeah, uh, they, 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 they pretended like they were, they were going to fight or like made them think yeah. like it but so yeah they weren't the shots right now for i think that's a really good like a really hard skill to learn is yeah the ability yeah. to contest something while doing something else i think because good teams looks like you're just coordinated good teams do that really well uh, yeah yes. like yeah I mean, smolder is always a win condition right like even with the nerf absolutely agree on the hot fix, i think smolder is still yeah this is looking rough because yes smolder is scaling um, but so is Senna. So is TF. Does T does AD TF scale super well? It scales really well, yeah. Really? Okay. Unless it gets outranged, right? The, the, I mean, yeah. It, it kind of does. Uh, it's just by Quid, right? Quid is the only one that, yeah, and that and he has to worry about. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I mean, their team fight is also not that great. C9s. Uh, but this is this this fight right here will decide a lot. Yeah, I just noticed that C9 has two drakes at 16 minutes, and the third yeah. drake's alive. So normally I'd say and they're about to fight it, right? Because they're so behind, but I don't think they should it fight it. It feels really bad. That's good to Leo wall too. Oh, he got it. Oh, he got it. That's so good. Oh, really good start to the fight, I think. Oh, oh, sniper. Flash. Sniper. Nice. They have. They still have the TFL too. Oh, nice, nice quid spell. Whatever that spell's called. Oh my god, wait, how did they win that? It was a super value Zinzao ultimate. He tanked everything. Wow. No risk of getting flanked by the Twisted Fader Talia. They got the smite steal. And then they that was good by River, actually. Really well played. Reason I think this was good yeah. because if they do actually get aced, they're not giving up Baron or anything. This is why I think it's better to fight this Drake than the Soul Point. But Emily, take it away. Yeah. So I mean, we see the Talia wall go down. River goes in, ends up getting the smite. Oh my kill, God! What a smite, actually. Really, really important to get that Drake, but I think even more important, like you said, is. The kick flash ends up killing Blabber, but 100 is split between killing Sniper and River. It's a yeah. good flank from Sniper, even though he kind of walked in and then didn't do anything. <laughs> He protected River by doing that. It's yeah. split the focus. Yeah, I like that. That was really good. Grayson Gilmer. <laughs> GG. Yeah, the CF is going to be scary with, with his items. Like, uh, he can just make picks yeah. so easily. But he's kind of peeling anyway. Their two solo laners are weird. Like if TF's ever missing, they can't do anything. Also, yeah, he's a full item on Atrox, right? Wavebeard, yeah. which by the way just interrupts all dashes because it does a little knockdown effect as well, so you just get interrupted in midair. And way better frontline engage from the Nautilus. So yes, it is four thousand. They have TP advantage on Quid right here. Uh, so I wonder what they're gonna do about it. Is massive. Like, I feel like they turned okay, they're rifting. Uh, like Talia's pushing bot with no TP. Yet, but they mm. Yeah. I think this they're is easily defendable, though. TP advantage. Yeah. Oh, but they have... There's Tom's oh, there's TK TP. TP. Yeah, that's correct. Oh, that's a bit tragic. Yeah. He just... It's fine. I mean, it's nothing. I'm a bit surprised they opted to go for this turret when I think bot turret is lower. Just looking at the icon of the map, it looks like it's it's a little destroyed. Yeah. Which yeah. means that it's at least 66%. Yeah. It's like enough. It's it's almost enough for a rift to kill it. Yeah. Yeah. Where that, that turret was literally full HP. And Fudge also doesn't have TP. It's just TF ult. So... That's when you can start feeling a lot I don't know. stronger in these That's a bit, a bit strange to yeah, me. Right now, I think we're on... Yeah, I wonder why, they had too. had a timing to do it. Or they were, or was running out or and something. And maybe top lane was already pushing, and bot lane, yeah. uh, he needed to buy for his item. Quid did. So that they have complete side lane control, right? Because you have a Talia, you have a Twisted Fate. You oh, he's waiting in there. completely control where you're applying map... Oh, Smolder is not going to Shoujin build, which I'm not a fan of. I don't know what he's buying. should be able... To beat you, and I think uh, the way that he might just have stopped for a vamp scepter in the rivers. 
So that'd be no way really weird. Everything. There's no way he's building anything out of vamp and a longsword. Isn't that only Hydra? Uh, I mean, he 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 would go shield bow, but I've never seen shield bow on on Smolder. I don't think shield bow doesn't build out of that. It's it's oh yeah, it's uh, yeah, yeah, you're right, right. Crit. I think it's only Hydra, and there, I don't think there's a chance he's going Hydra. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what you need that for. Vamp scepter. But maybe not I, think, I think he's just sitting on it. Yeah. But yeah, I like he, he's delaying his Shojin. That's what I'm saying, right? Oh, Jojo is gonna die. No, he's fine. I oh. think he has no flash. Yeah. Uh, yeah if River had no flash, flash, maybe he would. He would have probably died. No, he definitely would have died. If he would have died. Flash. Flash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're close to the 225 stacks on Meech, but like, I don't know if it's gonna matter with his useless items. Like, look at his items. Actually, has nothing. Uh, Invading on this top side now. That sun is brutal. Whoa. Ooh, Jojo they just, TPing for the They need to defend this, by the way. So I think we smolder all this. I think we smolder all this. A bit slow, but yeah, I think this is going to die now. Yeah. yeah. It's fine. I, I think if we ult that earlier, we can save it. Yeah. I think it's still. I think it's not the worst to be honest because they shared that with five people that tier two tower. I mean, it's still bad, but I guess if they're giving it anyways, they should have set up for for dragon. Actually, at least get something there. Jojo, Jojo. Ooh. How are we giving the two? Oh, TP, TP. Oh, this is crazy. Oh, blabber. Oh my god. TP timing. Oh, oh dude, a crazy no. Kick. This one it really gets no. Blabber okay, that's actually doomed. Gonna turn for Baron. I don't I didn't see how that happened. Too good of a play by, by Blabber. And then... The right and All right, let's get 225, guys. Get the dragon, please, no? Are they... Wait, they're actually contesting that. They can steal it. He has no flash. Oh, okay, he cannot steal it. Getting solo killed by by Vulcan, literally. <laughs> and he has no ults. Oh, I really wanted them to get dragon and just wait for Smolder to keep scaling. He's not even 225, you know. Yeah. And now they give Baron and they give dragon. Tough. Yeah. Rough, rough first game. Okay, Yo, Vet, thanks so much for the resub, my friend. Looked, Thank you, Vet. Good to have okay you back with us. What's up, man? What's up, Wonderbolt? Like the hook missing is kind of bad, but... Oh! Wait, that was nasty. That was a nasty kick. That was really well played, yeah. And then they try to contest this, but it doesn't work out. Aatrox is such a fake champ, man. It's not fake. Uh, it's just not not a good blind pick, in my opinion. Jojo types second place team so good, but he's clearly typing with such speed and passion that half of the words are misspelled. Yeah, I don't think it's a good blind uh, at all. Oh, blabber type two. <laughs> oh, no, I think it was Jojo again. Oh, okay. But he was doing he was doing the gamer speak where you you don't ever click the backspace key, so you probably had a bunch of wrong letters. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, I think when you're subbing vet, when you're yeah, subbing normally, you can choose a tier. What do you want? Tier one, tier two, tier three. I think that's how. I've actually. I'm not sure. Wait, yeah, I believe you are currently a tier one sub. I believe so. And we are just about to reach 225 for Meech. We're almost there. He just there it got in. Boom. Right? So we'll see if it's smoldering time for 100 Thieves. Yeah, about average 225 stack time. I saw, I saw a game Meech. yesterday in LCK that was... Which I'd say is pretty impressive. 45 and minutes and it was Smolder versus Senna. They haven't been able to initiate and the Senna outscaled. Haven't been first onto waves, so Meech has done a pretty mm. good job of getting. You think so? What he doesn't have 
Is I want to call up too, thought. but like, like, yeah, if he has Trojan, he would have had Trojan already by the time. Dude, this, or if they didn't give that second dragon too, now they're one point away from Soul, which is like, ah, oh, man. Sad. Also, this, the Senna has 110 sacks. Super strong. Same with the CF, bro. He's so strong. I think they might kind of offset Smolder and Senna. Yeah. I mean, I hope so. Let's see. Kyra, I actually agree, man. I really agree. This, like, yes. I guess Zo I didn't know that Zeus blinded. I mean, Aatrox is a fine blind. Don't get me wrong. I mean, this is a fine start. Um, he's a fine blind, but I don't prefer it. I don't prefer it. River is so weak. Yeah, like they could have picked Jace too, you know what I mean? Jace with their comp would have been insane as well. Like Jace is into Aatrox is really good too. So they had a bunch of options. Oh, that's a good, good play by them. He's gonna die here. So dead. He just one shot. This... Uh, it's a bad game no tenacity is, is really a problem. Five and a half yeah. Four and a half thousand gold down That's why I really like Conquer more. Zero even though, like, Conquer so going tenacity plus, uh, after having his best week ever resolve, as best player. So he it's good. Reached his peak, I mean, yeah, it's fine. At the moment, he's feeling it. It'll be really interesting to see how he will respond. I think game one is fine. This is just their warm up game. Seeing, like, he's got so much confidence in pick a better, like, no, not, not really. Not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not gonna blame draft. Very off split, but is Play better. Accomplished. So Fudge has been in so many high pressure MSI worlds. What side do you here? think Hunter Thieves gonna choose next year? Well, yeah, I think. Oh, wait, uh, I think they, they might not blue. be side they select. Blue last game. They pick blue this game. They Hunter Thieves pick blue because yeah, they choose their higher side. Yeah. 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 I think you you can say like draft should be better, but. Uh, or just looking at the game, just takes there are so many things that mattered more than the draft in this game. Yeah. Way, he hasn't had, like, a Definitely. Stellar it looks like the draft even point, favors right? 100. Um, so it feels like it's a, li a little harder for C9 right? to play. Yeah. But C9 just outplayed Hunter them so hard okay. in the early game. Now, I just want them to pick C9 more comfort, sure right? More comfort such as pick their Talia. Uh, I guess that's what I meant, right? Yeah. Pick their Talia. Uh, yeah, yeah, pick yeah. Senna. Like, t take Senna from the Smolder versus Senna side. Mm -hmm. And and uh, and don't blind pick Aatrox. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's their comfort, though. Blind pick Aatrox is their comfort. But they, they probably didn't think about TF being a, a, a nearly impossible matchup. Like, it's just... It's a, it's honestly a very hard matchup. Yeah. I also think TF and Talia have really good synergy. Because any long range stun that's sufficiently long is just a free seismic shove. And that just one shots anyone in the entire game. That's true. No one, yeah. no one can survive that. Yeah, yeah. It is very annoying. Let's see how this fight goes. This is a very important fight because it's Soul, right? Uh, both Soul and Baron are coming up. And and this this is this is where Smolder wants to fight. Like he has stacks, he has double sums. A shove there. They just got uh, a It's good. It's a good start to the fight right now. Oh. They don't have TP flanks for the Aatrox. Wow, look at this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait. As Hundred Thieves bring Sniper back into the fight there with his unleashed. Bro, the Senna is oh, killing gosh. everyone actually. The Senna is just killing everyone. Okay, no eat for Senna now, and Ayla doesn't even die. Um I mean, this is gone. Yeah, the the, the dragon's gone. Dude, this set is literally killing everyone, by the way. From 10 screens away. He's he's gonna be three items too. 136, he's gonna be 140 stacks, and that's that's the death point. Yeah. 100 140 is you lose. Incredible vision control as you know the last ditch effort from Hundred Thieves River is gonna try to clear out some of this vision around. Like look how close uh, that fight was. I mean close complete control of the map too. They're down ten K. They should be getting destroyed and the fight was not they have it was close. Yeah. Is so good and so do you like this uh the soul? Infernal soul? How do we think pick of it? Beating the 
advantages. I don't oh, know if it's amazing. I love yeah. soul. I love infernal soul. Yeah, I would say it's flip something. Okay, it's I think they usually like I'm never upset with infernal soul so because it makes everyone do damage on the team. Like, well, and they want to fight them. I think that's their now Tom Kent is really going to start soloing people. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's how I see it. Like, it's good on the carries, but, man, now these supports are, are going to struggle with people. Oh, man. Wait, that's a four-item TF as well. Oh, my God. He's dead. I think. Oh, no, no, no. Back, 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 back. No. <laughs> what is Cypher doing? Dies from full. What Whoa! the hell? Oh, no. We're, we're, we're tilted. We're tilted. We're ready for next. Yeah. It is not looking good. Yeah. We are good, just getting outplayed this game, honestly. I mean, I think at this part, it's really hard. Yeah, we're down 10k. Like Sniper in particular, he's supposed to be kind of this... The no, the no Mercs, though, he, he really needs tenacity. He yeah. should swap. Yeah. I, I thought he's going to rush Mercs this game over anything. He is the poorest player, like, other than Ayla in this game. Sniper is so far behind right now. Okay, other than Ayla and River. Everyone on 100 behind. Yeah, he's down 6k gold. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, it's, 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 it's tough right now. Dude, Fudge is the most gold on his team. Wall, they had a good yeah. game. He's, he's had a good game. Yeah, game. yeah, yeah he has. He, he played well this game. It, it hasn't been super flashy. It's just been good. Super stable. Yeah. And he, he did good... Um, Pushing his lead, where he can just go in and like, uh, yeah. like, uh, you know, making use of his counter pick, no rather. You can exactly. Which, which, for champs like so TF, like AD TF, are actually really hard to be stable on. Yeah, they're so volatile because they're so like you can play so aggressively. Dude, so it's really impressive just... that he's managed to say zero deaths and not make any end plays. Yeah. But C9 keeping it on. I will say the way Smolder wave clear is pretty immense, but now Cloud9 finally gets to take a few shots. Jojo gets hit by the snot bubble, but not a whole Three. lot more gonna <laughs> Jojo tried to seismic, seismic to shove in, the turret. Quite <laughs> the hit. Oh, did he? Right, this tower is gone. <laughs> Just lane. give in him. Go mid. Oh. I mean, both Wei and, so and uh, Meech are, are really scaling this game. But it might be too late for that. We gave too much. Fell too far behind. The same trucks will be never bit, be trapped. I would be a bit worried. If I was C9. You'd, you'd feel like you're on a timer? I mean, if it wasn't Elder Dragon, I wouldn't be worried at all. I'd be like, yeah, yeah, game's over. yeah. But because it's Elder, I feel like it's going to be an Elder fight. I see. And Elder see. fights are just inherently random. I just don't see how they can deal with this TF. Senna. Like, how are these two ever going to die? Like, actually. And with this this full defensive Talia, who can they kill? Okay. I guess maybe wow, they can. It actually, it's full tank Talia. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Talia's job is this. I like this build by Talia because like she doesn't need to be the one doing damage. You have TF and Senna just one shotting the entire team. Did someone just flash? Why did I hear flash? I heard flash too, but I think that was hex flash. Oh, okay. Did you hear the guy in the audience who just yelled out? Did he cut two shots from Senna? Listen, River just took off? half of River's health. <laughs> 14,000 gold hurts. No one's denying this. All right, Weaver's another tower. Jojo and the rest of C9 yeah, that might be inhib, not just tower. I think it is in him. Yeah, I think so. Baron, but that's plenty of time. Inhibitor now. Oh, man. Pressure here as C9, well, maybe it's not. Just continue whittling it away. Maybe they can they're, they're it. back. Uh, Elder's up in a minute. This is where they oh, want to. Oh, my God. C9's got a 5v4. The inhibitor's still in their sight. But He'll be up for Elder, at least. So much damage. Okay, there was the card Seism Shove combo. But there was cleanse for it. Okay, uh, he's down. Oh, but he got flashed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's just dead. Oh, nice try, nice try. Yeah, I mean, they're down 15k. It's tough. I like that, I like that C9 fought before Elder. You don't want to have this game be an elder clip. Yeah, yeah, that was a perfect time for them to fight. I mean, also, Ayla kind of entered, to be honest. Like, they, they kind of yeah. got set up for that fight. Uh, but uh, regardless, Ayla probably want to go in before elder, because how are you going to walk into their jungle, right? Well, you have inhib. 
yeah, top and him down. True. You can't even walk I mean, him TF, out. TF can threaten end so easily too. Yeah, exactly. Fudge understood the assignment, right? Yeah. He's like, their win condition. It's it's really so common I for Nautiluses. Like good Nautiluses will always on this dragon as soon as possible. know how to shoot their hook without hitting the wall. Yeah. And victory for C9 not only because of execution, but again, the dragon. I feel like they always know with the walls. But there was the creep, and he was trying to not hit the creep. To be honest, Kindred is broken. Like, he's really OP right now. For the game. But it doesn't set up your bot lane picks well, I think. Yeah, exactly. When this volatile matchup, like, or, or when bot lane matchup is this volatile. Yeah. You know what I, I, you know what I actually think C it would have been better for C9? Is if they put Jax, uh, Jax jungle and top lane Wukong. Really? I think Jax That's jungle true. beats Kindred harder than Wukong. Yeah, probably. And 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 uh, and Wukong is like I said, good against. Uh, Air Flash is saying it was saying earlier it was good against uh, Aatrox as well. Honestly, if if somehow Hundred Thieves wins with this draft, I'm gonna say winnable, winnable. To oh no, muted. Muted. Ah, you hate FF, to see it. FF. That's awkward. <laughs> Last game is we picked a little bit oh, more scaling. We thought, you know, game one was going to start pretty slow and we wanted to have more scaling, but we weren't able to fight early, which is one of our big Oh, fights. let's see. So I don't I don't like them fighting like that. Fight more early. And I think they overall still Good movement well. from Meech. Kind of got, Not yeah. to get the from some snow bowling early. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I feel pretty good about it. Oh, wait, maybe he maybe Vol can double himself. To focus on to make sure that they can secure this win. Um, we were talking about just giving each other confidence. Ah, uh, we can't get hit by these really W's, man. It's so, so hard to. Get in this mindset it's to fine. Where, like you never want to fight. Um, so just giving each other confidence. Oh no. Yes. Yeah. Key for us. Alrighty, thank you so much, and I'm gonna send it back to you, casters. Dodge the W. Dodge the W, Mitch. The one thing I'm no. Along those lines, that's three in a row. Who's talking about being able to take fights where you? He dodged Vulcans at least. Yeah, that's good. Buttons between these compositions. I'm looking at hundred teams. You got Aatrox. You got Kindred. Are you know there's, there might be a couple tools to try to set up a pick here. Yeah. But when you compare that to the engage power of Whoa. waves and Nico, C9 seems to have a lot more tools. He's low on mana, honestly. Yeah, but I, I don't know. I think they're misplaying uh, this he's, matchup. He's got he's got biscuits. Like, he's chilling. If you were to Watch, yeah. Uh, preseason power rank. He also panic ghosted. And then watch game one of this playoff series. Berserk, Berserk had no more juice after that. There was no need to ghost. Everything is to expectation. Yeah, you're right. Exactly. But that, and that's what Hunter Thieves has to bounce back from because they've elevated themselves so much with their ten and four regular season and their number two seed. Mm. And they need Does to this get work? Back to, as Golden Blue said, the team that fights a lot. They led the league in combined code per minute. It was actually higher than teams in most regions. And immediately, River really wants to hop this wall and go at JoJo. I think River is wasting a lot of time here. That's nice. uh, the charm not hitting there means Jojo he just chunks him out, which I think is fine, honestly. The river getting some oh, he's gonna wait. Gang. Get the flash. Flashes away to live, just barely. That's good. Oh, and a gang fought. No ghost. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's dead. dead. Just let him die. He's dead. Still trying to escape. Let him die. As, yeah, Blabber's just gonna dash forward there with a the clone. Easy. Give the kill to Blabber. Oh man. Berserker's going back to farm. Big thing here, as we see, Fudge has shoved this entire wave in and is now gonna start. He gets a proxy plus. Top side. Fudge is really good. At playing around leaves like this. And there's the punish for using um, ghost early. A lot of top side yeah. advantage to be able to track the panic ghost. Also, but it is a bit weird that he has so ghost, right? Because he still typically Shouldn't he have barrier? Wait, river? Ooh, nicely done yeah. from blabber there. Guaranteed. Oh, okay. I thought I am like, yo, what is yeah. he's, he's he's 2v1. He's a kindred, so he knows better than anyone, right? You mm -hmm. want the team is going right. to want to protect these marks. This is a rough um, early game, river actually. Super rough. Skip marks though. I actually tracked him versus blabber i remember in terms of his early pathing and how the two junglers played differently around the kindred pick specifically as we see psycho. revisiting the flashless jojo yeah and River's this is something jojo does a lot he's so aggressive even when he doesn't have flash it's it's really the most difficult thing to learn as a mid laner he's just pulling their jungler without pulling him you know what i mean yeah he's not doing anything he's just looking like something might happen yeah yeah and you know he blew his flash last time but that time he just wasted river's time although i think river was waiting for the mark anyway but oh did he get his mark oh no he didn't no, I think he did get his mark. He says zero marks, he says, so I don't think he got it. Oh, never mind then. Yeah. Right? Like, 
I really like what he's done for his lanes. Ah, uh, that's that Gromp's gone. River on the top. Yeah, rest okay. in peace. Okay, River's going to have to surrender this Gromp to the this power of the Wabbers. This is bad, man. Steel. He'll force Super the tough. Back over the wall. Meech and Ayla. They have three losing lanes right now. Right now, Meech only 300 HP left on that Aphelios. Eating one of his biscuits to try to heal back Ooh. up as Jojo keeps the pressure on there with the blooming blows in mid lane. Quid does not have a lot of oh my God. Man to work with. And the problem is, teleports have already been spent on both of the mid laners. So C9 knows they've got control over the mid lane. They've got control over the top lane. No reason for Blabber not to be here just picking up some free grubs. Dude, how happy is Blabber? Like... His yeah, you're right, actually, Kara. That's a good game, point. Which allows Blabber to pick up first blood in bot lane. That's a really good point. Then absorbs another Whoa. Whoa! Hold on, River with the flash. Good night, Jojo. Just going right after Jojo, the oh, just like that? With the -up yep. Wait. Kindred's OP. What the hell? Okay. Next point. <laughs> River never gives up. Because four times the charm. And it actually bounces him down. That was a well-needed kill, okay, honestly. So like, a really well-needed kill. Absolutely been giving Blabber... A massive leg up in this well game because Blabber got first blood. And that that uh, that also the made but because the matchup in Oh, he didn't even go Mercs. Oh, I don't know if I like this. That is actually kind of a perfect encapsulation of River versus Blabber. R Blabber takes the more efficient yeah. somewhat guaranteed plays. River is willing to go all out and just keep trying, and over time he actually makes it work. Yeah, as we see River coming down on this bot side. Again, the thing I really, really want to credit C9 for is tracking where he's going to be. Not just this game, yeah. but in the prior game, right? Like, obviously, in this game, it's even more paramount, I think, to success because of how you really do This is not... Those mm, marks. I don't know. It's as you a... see River still hovering around bot, seeing if he can make something happened but outside of that it's gonna be an interesting game really been able to get much mm -hmm. exactly there's just not looking like a whole lot of opportunity down here still pointing out that the advantage in the top lane is in fudge's favor the 1v1 for the jacks and the aatrox there's enough minions here nice. to he just recalls he's sending out a lot of gold here sniper lead over his opponent these guys have been pretty much left in the back how's this top matchup time, and fudge is it is it having a great time with it and i'd say the c9 how much is this is jack supposed to get a lead uh, early levels uh yeah yeah, one of the big but picked up the 10 wins. One interesting trend about the regular season, though, is hundred thieves like game after level six. I believe uh, it is yet to be good. Atrox can win. Actually, that's not true. After level three, four, Atrox should be able to win. But what what Fudge did was really good, where he recalled instantly, and, and or where he proxied a wave and recalled, and then he took control from there. Push those two things together. Oh my god, Fudge is trying to do to Sniper what Sniper does to people. You can't solo kill the god that solo kills, man. That's true. on pace here in game two with three grubs, first Drake, and 1200 gold already in their pockets. And it's about to be the Drake as well. You can see Blabber in the Drake pit picking this one up. Shouldn't have any difficulties with it because, again, so it's so easy. Blabber to picked up all three grubs. And, look like you and he's getting Drake at eight minutes. When your lanes are just winning all this is the so tough. Because the enemy can't contest you. Blabber got the grubs for free. He's going to get the Drake for free. Do you think it's a jungle gap though, so far or what? what is it? I think it's... No. I am wondering... It's an everything gap I think, right I think, I think it's a lane gap. Something yeah. on top side with River here. Mm. Like I think, I think the big difference is the bot uh, yeah. kill. Like might get him to use the helicopter, but now that was that was from laning from C9. Let's see if I mean this guy's fine. Yeah. Oh, there's no. Uh, he has no ward though. actually. Oh. They just freeze the wave here. Sniper should just hold this freeze and then catch up to the game. Oh, no, mine already broke. Nah, it's not frozen. Oh, he broke it. Okay. That's fine. That that helps sniper a lot. Yeah. Uh, Wukong's gonna run hold it from though. He's actually just gonna hold it. I think. Actually, no. With how Fudge is already running out of base, he's gonna catch the majority of that wave since it is a cannon wave. Won't give sniper that big of an advantage. So sniper who did lead the league in solo kills yet to get a kill in this series. Such a surprising rookie going up against Fudge who actually won. Down exactly 10 CS, assuming Fudge gets all these, is not the best, but not the worst. Yeah, and the other curious thing is, I know. I think Fudge is kind of like Aatrox, where they're execution-based top laners. They can be really impactful in teamfight, or be completely useless depending yeah, on how you play. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think Lucianami can be incredibly exactly. powerful. I just don't see how this Kindred is going to get his first mark. And I don't see how Balling's ever going to break out of this pressure. You know what I mean? Like, how is this Kindred getting marks at all this game? Early Drake stacking, which they've already stacked up. 
Yeah, Kindred wants the game to be crazy. I don't think he's gonna be able to go anything for here. He's about but to lose no another one, mark, even. No one else on his team wants it to be crazy. He's also gonna lose the grubs. And what I really want to see is how they move around the uh, I think they want to fight this. Illusion yeah. can be so but how? I have no idea. I mean, Lulu's moving up, right? I think I think it's fightable, honestly. They have, they have Kindred ulti. And I think you just have to make sure you use it after Nico ult. I think it's fightable too. Let's see. It's a 3v3 right here. Uh, 4v3. 4v3? But Nami oh, 4v4 is coming. 4v4 now, yeah. Okay, they got one. I don't like how Meech is moving here. Okay, he we landed just go. that. Oh, that's that's good damage. Oh, and Blabber had to W out. Okay, this is this is one. Good, good work from 100. Not bad. A very disciplined run. Like a retreat. That was real fun. Why, why do you think they were so... Is it just the charm? Because it was only like 500 damage. Why what? Like why did C9 run away so quickly? Oh, I see. Wait, Meech is dead here. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I think because they got hit by the chunk. And maybe got they're like, yeah, we're good. Now they are first to bottom, Whoa, they're TPing here. TP Wait, Ayla's Ayla, coming. No, that's actually so bad. Unless they kill Berserker, oh, that then it's fine. Really good. Let's go flash by Berserker. Wait. It was an insane flash because he flashed over the Q. Wait, they can win this. Jojo's no flash. <gasps> Blobber's oh, coming too. At least the one. Oh, we got him. We got oh him. wait, run to the right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like, I like what. Okay, wait. Blobber's kind of trolling. Isn't Quid gonna die? Or isn't Quid gonna land? Or is he dead too? Does he have an all sack still? Oh, he's just. Oh yeah. yeah. I think he did that because he, if he was gonna survive, it would have taken so long. Yeah. If he looped around, it would have been. Yeah, it would have taken a long, long time. You know they do so much damage like that's through lulu all through heal i mean it makes sense i guess that's <laughs> one insane flash also that charm looked really weird if i know it's really hindsighty but i think he, so jojo flashed predicting meets to flash to the right right yeah, but I think that Meech should probably flash to the left just to get closer to Ayla and to get farther from Berserker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's not enough damage for Jojo to kill him solo. Both Jojo and Vulcan, right? I mean, uh, to be honest, no, like, can Berserker just too. walk through tower? He had a wave. He can just walk through it. and, and Yeah, but your TP is coming, and I think... Yeah, that's true also. It's probably still better because then... I don't know. It's. Interesting question, cause this has been a hotly I'm not sure if it's smart, so but I think it split. People talk might have been good. It might not have been. Oh good. man, what's happening? About who's the okay. Best so far in yeah. The between Quid and Jojo, we pose the question to you now. I believe we got a poll. That's agreed, agreed, though. Might already be. Which one of these guys is more valuable? Uh, I still. Oh, that's his first mark. Let's go. That's really good. Mm -hmm. It's 12 minutes, but honestly, like, uh, it's actually really good that he got one. It's who's more valuable to the way um, that their team. But yeah, top lane now. Uh, Aatrox for sure loses the one everyone. Is what enables Quid to have the improvement from last split, but Quid mm -hmm. has yeah, the full key force. Sniper's recalls haven't been that great this game. He's been behind in tempo. You get him up. In terms of current game impact, though, is this Lucian Nami one quick call out? C9 is undefeated on the Lucian Nami. They were okay. winless on the Lucian Melio. And the way this pick manifests its power is actually through things like that. You try and contest mid, you get chunked out, which now gives Cloud9 an uncontested trade. Exactly. I'm not going to lie. I saw that curling come out, Aphelios that Lulu is not it. What you want to do with the Lucian not in this year. Not in this current meta we're in. <laughs> the kill, <but laughs> they are getting blasted. Now, yeah. No way. That hundred thieves can try to contest, and there's not even Blabber's gonna pick that one up too. It's now a two zero Drake, like a, a greener pasture later in the game. This, this Aphelios is I would say completely useless. Yeah, it's literally he will never be useful, I think. Yeah, because nothing on hundred thieves in my literally a walking target. Dummy. From being I want them to do be getting flash ulted by Jojo. Or yeah, he stays ahead of the curve. There is, yeah, no, I agree. I really want them to do what they did the first game, same draft, but so I think. 
if he's able uh, to keep like pick the Senna instead of Smolder. Between himself and Aphelios and keep himself so broken, dude. It's going to be a very good look for Berserker's Lucian. No hard engage and no true tank. Again, yes. your is is the Aphelios Lulu the only thing you don't like this game? Or what what is it? Bullets from uh, units away, well, like I to drain tank I, I don't like see how well hundred thieves will be able to the kindred with the Aphelios Lulu. So it's not like it kind of depends. Like it's one or the other. That's the problem. But Harold also. Hanging out in the pit. There's I, I think everything else is fine, honestly. Map, so you're not just gonna get a I don't like the combination of Kindred with Avilius Lulu. Yeah. About this. They, yeah really? as, they want to, but I don't know if they can. Or Meech mm -hmm. is down an entire item at 15 is minutes. Is it, is it he, he doesn't even have his first item. It's 15 fight. minutes, like you said. Was setting up this is he's literally like Berserker is going to get RFC at the same time that he gets his Storm Ranger. Yeah. This is not a good fight, by the way. Bobby just engages. Yeah. Wait, I think. Oh my god. Oh my god. We. No. No freaking way. Oh, you flash. Ah, this is, is dude. Oh, my God. Is not letting That's game, by the way. Save him for yeah, no, the game is over. I've seen Sniper do this before. Soon, the In my dreams. I miss. Sniper, baby. Fudge goes on a rampage. Eight to three oh, they're C9. typing to them in Ultra. I heard something. You know, Fudge got four kills that fight. This game is completely done. Even worse when you think about yep. all four of those kills went to Fudge, right? So now they have, they should have This game is completely over. Don't like, I'm serious. Don't even, bro. I would wait in base. Fight, take, take a break. <laughs> Dude. Uh, uh, he ulted too. Also, a, 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 I mean, even in another uh, thing even about Kindred. Is that into Nico? You're basically giving Nico an amazing ult on a silver platter every time you press it before she presses ult. I mean, you gotta laugh about it, right? Like it's you have to laugh about it. Yeah. Because it's. Ever seen more exciting? Yeah, you laugh. Best way to cope. Best way to cope. Okay, there we go. Vulcan is dying. Hundred thieves grabbing a pick. Okay, that reaction by River is really interesting to me. How so? So listen. Normally, I would say a team that is 10 and 4, called fraudulent by all of their competitors, and then is 0 1 down in the series. Just well, I mean, I guess I feel this guy's first item, right? Palming, you are angry, you are tilted. He oh, okay. Sniper, I think, tilted. He's, he's so killed. He's to trigger pull later in this game, and I actually think he has the mindset they need to stay in it. The problem is. <laughs> Literally unplayable. I was about to say, I think the Dude, this looks like a scrim. Yeah. It just yep. started looking like a scrim. Everyone just started randomly fighting. 100, 100 is actually like mentally checked out after that. I think so, I think so. Quid, Quid and River randomly went bot, got a random kill. C9, we're not expecting it. Sniper goes for... For a 1v1 against the 4-0 Jack. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. This is actually the most over game I've seen in my Oh my god. That close. What are they saying? C9 is back? They're back? They definitely feel back in the first game and a half of this series. Yeah. And there, again, you can see the dangerous. Wow. Okay. This sucks. Yeah, his degree, Quid is more important to his team. We'll see if he'll be able to help kind of maybe get 100 Thieves back in the this game. This might be a, a, an 3 honestly. With the way 100 Thieves play in. This is an 3 no Yeah. I will say, so they should be able to have side lane I think here. there's um, different River kinds of loss. Has not been able to do losses. Anything for I think their game one loss was a lot more painful than this side. loss. The Jax is That's my opinion. Gold ahead. Because I think yeah, when you get, he's, he's got like that is just unlucky, sky. right? Sniper like yeah. it's just, Hydra and some garbage long swords. the game like, exploded just from just like the most minor of mistakes. We're flashing and then you click exactly on a blast cone and it kills your Lulu. Makes you use ult to try and save the Lulu and then you all die and give all the kills to Jax. Like oh, the game is yeah. just over. Yeah. So. Everyone on Cloud9 at the I feel like it's a lot easier to be like, yeah, whatever. That game doesn't matter. Ooh, nice binding from I mean, it was over before that. Like, bot was down 60 CS. Top was losing uh, yeah, but like 10, it, 15 CS. Mid is same thing. Got ganked a couple times. Still up and farm. It's three losing lanes with a Wukong being able to do whatever he wants, right? I think they're just getting outplayed. 
Berserker gets to That's true. They're just getting outplayed. There. Yeah, I don't know. And a, feel, this game is a huge like, drop gap, I think. This, I agree. I don't like the draft. Oh my god, he's still alive, brother? Oh, he's gonna die. Uh, but Ayla got it. I think that's worth it, though. Like, Jojo used Flash for that. Yo, oh, River's, River wins what? this, I just think. River, he'll stay alive through Lamb's respite. They throw him up in the air with a tidal wave. River gets himself back far enough. Oh, wait, Meech, this is that you have to do something here. Against these guys. Moonlight Vigil. Oh, okay. Never mind, you're dead. Bro, I, it's like they can't even. Um, what do you call it? They can't even scale this game. It's just a complete stomp. No, I mean. I, I think if Kindred doesn't get like, like marks, they don't even outscale. Yeah. To do that to win this game, but they wanted to do that to win this game. Jojo flashed in between turrets to get a solo kill onto Quid, knowing it would cost him. Damn, this one, this one's tough. It's tough to watch. To some vulnerability, but they outplay them once again, and they just accelerate this game even more. Well, this is what we wanted to see from C9 all year, right? Like, also, a lot of people don't know this. Um, well, I don't know if that's the, like no, that that shouldn't be why they're losing. But uh, yeah, River wasn't feeling well yesterday. He was a little sick, mm. and he didn't scrim with that's the team. So they scrimmed without him. That's not good. I completely agree, and I'd say Fudge to me is the biggest standout in terms of denying 100 Thieves what their win conditions yep. have been in the regular season and enabling Cloud9 to win in these playoffs because Fudge was largely not impactful in most regular season games from Cloud9. It was kind of a JoJo check wow. as Berserker is signaturing on... Yeah. He's just... <laughs> <laughs> like what, man? They just get Baron off that. Yeah. Yeah, I think, like, the thing with 100 Thieves, they, they, a lot of their wins, they, the way they won is, is Sniper getting a bunch of solo kills, and, and, uh, or Quid making some insane game-winning plays, right? Yeah. So, if though that stuff isn't happening, Sniper isn't winning lane, Quid isn't, um, is it, like, able to pressure his lane and get these game winning plays position for these game winning plays it's like yeah it's good luck like it's look rough it looks rough right i still think yeah they're they're a good team if they if they stabilize like i want them to not end the early game right game feels like it's over the first five ten minutes every time yeah they I agree. They have two more wins than Cloud9 in the regular season, but they have just been annihilated as LS also yeah, makes this LS agrees joke. with you. Great, if great minds think alike. Fable <laughs> 100 views from Scrooge. Yo, Anabase, what's up, man? How are you doing? This. This is a Yo, thank you, brother. Thank you, my man. Of the entire Much love to you, homie. We've seen on stage. Yeah, this is happening in the playoffs. Yeah. This is really bad. So, last game... Reverse you sweep it coming? Probably one of the least powerful Someone said reverse sweep incoming. What do you think about that? What I think is, you have to have the best mental in the world to reverse sweep a series. I think you need, like... Oh my god! No, just FF, man. Just FF. Just FF. Yes, actually, just FF. They should allow FFs. They should allow FFs. This time and meet by I would FF gun. this. After that, I would, I would FF. Tier three turret, it's just gonna evaporate, man. There is no way that I think rally. Maybe make one last defense here. C9 will take down the I don't know. I always felt like it's a lot easier for people to be mentally strong in stage games. Yeah, but like from the way they're playing, they're not playing like they're about to reverse sweep right no they aren't but i mean i i think they've they all gave up after the peril play so yeah i don't think anyone on their team is like even trying like not that like the, obviously they're trying but their heart's not in it like they know the game is over yeah all right who wins in a 1v1 meech or berserker what do hundreds of <laughs> need to regroup? Mm -hmm. The biggest quiet point. So on the flip side of Fudge doing really, really Are we looking at... <laughs> right? 
I think I'd be close. I, I think Meech has a chance, honestly. Yeah, he has a, he has a chance, yeah. I missed a few years of League, but, like, I saw these Aphelios clips when he got released. And, like, man, that champ does a lot of damage. So, like, I think it's, I think it's, I think it's even, honestly. Yeah, yeah, it's even. Bro, look at his items! <laughs> oh, my God, it's painful. It's actually painful, like... But I think they've been utilizing Fudge's experience in one mark on Kindred. Just please, next. Most of C9's title runs in the past with Fudge, and they're doing it to Sniper here. So I do think Hunter Thieves will switch sides. Honestly, all of C9 heard everyone shit talking them and saying that JoJo is the only player on their team that does anything. That's true. They, they're playing well. I think Everyone JoJo's else had a pretty well. good series so far, but all of C9 has had a really good series. Yeah, I agree. They're actually all playing well. They're playing a lot better than they have the regular season. But also, think, Hunter Thieves is playing like the worst i've ever seen them play right like mechanically uh and laning phase everything well obviously it doesn't take away uh how C how well c9 played oh my god wait oh, he wait. Shut down. wait oh two items let's go winnable? 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 wait he's actually two items now i can see it i can, I can see them win yeah i mean it's good Hold on. Uh, what the? For one, Fudge hits him with the stick, and now Sniper's got to try to get himself away from it. C9 That's a lamp. Maybe it's not endable anymore. Or it's not winnable anymore. Okay, me. Why do we have red, purple? Oh, wait, that's another one, oh, okay. K. Wait, it's wait, actually one. On? Oh, okay, nice. Wait, living? Barely holds on thanks to Lamb's rest, but yet again, keeping these guys. You know, this is uh, Aphelios' is comfortable position, by the way. One shotting every, all these waves, getting yourself back in the game. I can't tell if you're being serious. I mean, listen, that was really foolish of Cloud9. I don't know if I'm being serious, too. I think I'm coping, I'm coping. Just recall after one death. They get the chem tech soul, they push in next. I think I think C9 would need to do that like four more times before C9 wouldn't just instantly one shot all of 100 thieves. Yeah, that's like, so Like, Berserker has an eye edge now. Yeah. Like, oh my god, dude, I don't even want to see how much damage he's doing. He's, he's about to do. I actually don't even want I want to close my eyes. <laughs> close your eyes. No, seriously, just watch his damage, dude. It's gonna. Oh, dude. I think he's gonna him, evaporate this Ayla. Lulu. Yeah. <laughs> he's at three and a half big items. He's on like he's, he's on Ayla. This guy is a monster. It is almost, almost impossible to kill him. We saw they finally did take him down in that last one, but now Sniper. Look at Quid. Quid is one HP. Sniper's dead. Doesn't quite have enough damage to finish him off. The river's gonna be your next target now. The Kindred's been the only thing keeping these guys alive. There's your tidal wave to guarantee. Good mechanics there from Fudge. Oh, oh nice work. That's Dude, tough, Jojo man, carries tough. the team, man. It's all Jojo every time. <laughs> It's actually always JoJo though. Oh my god, dude. Oh, what the hell? This is kind of painful. That was a painful game to watch. This hurts to watch, yeah. This really hurts to watch. Wait, one series away from MSI? Yeah, because I think top two makes MSI. So if you win this and then win next, then you're in the grand final. Oh, okay. I thought after the series they make it MSI. I'm like, wait, that doesn't make sense. No, no, no. This is to see from C9 specifically. Again, when this roster was put together, I was looking at it and I'm like, how is Blabber mm. and Jojo going wow. to Wow, this is a different C9 we're Sonic seeing right now. Specifically mm -hmm. in these first thieves were the surprise stars. I don't know, man. Let's see. Whoa. Thinking, Quid has fleet. Sixth, maybe seventh oh, wow. fringe playoff team. But they ended up being Fleet. tied for first at multiple points throughout this, se this season. See, they're doing that every game for, for Fudge as well. They're, they're really setting him up. Oh, they're trying to and put behind Snipe. Yeah. Oh, really good instincts to just run away yeah. without even seeing Nautilus. Yeah. Greatly underperformed expectations, but there was always this, this edge about them. One I would have started E there and just hit Renekton twice, right. but I don't know Me if he too. wants to start E. I think he'll start Q for shove, which is probably pretty smart. That was... Hey, uh, was that a fake word? Friend, no, I think that was a real word. Um, oh, real. Now, y'all have been getting a little bit of flame for the Lucian Nami, but it obviously worked for you in that last game. What about it do y'all see in it, and how is it helping y'all clutch the win? Um, well, we just think they're strong champions, not always in lane, but in the mid game. So um, it's just something that is not as 
easy to execute at first, so it's just been a, about like you know trying to make it work throughout the split, which uh, it's not always been easy. But I feel like we're at a spot where we're very comfortable, so it's good. Love that. And I saw that Berserker built Voltaic on Lucian. Now, is that something that you recommend for the players at home in solo queue, or was that a Berserker special? Oh, I, I some very juicy prepared, trades. So he didn't. I mean, yeah. I mean, it was good that game as well. It didn't really have tanks, so it was a, it was a fine item. But nah, normally don't do that. Yeah. Alrighty, thank you so much. And casters, I'm gonna send it back to you. Oh, always great to hear. From this matchup's gonna be even more annoying because yeah, he has fleet. Yeah, don't do that. But yeah. it worked out. But it was fine. And I'm really curious to see what happens in this third game here because I'd say going into the series, uh, Cloud9 had a little bit of an edge to them since they've been underperforming and needing to stay sharp to kind of prove things were going right. Whereas possibly Hunter Thieves, and this is a little bit of speculation, but they might have been a little bit satisfied after how well their split had gone and how well specifically that energy game went where they're able to style on them with Sniper getting four solo kills and playing big Arsheko as Pepper Plasco is right in the river. But basically now, because that last game was nice, so this is smart by River. I like this. He, he's nine. he's seeing where Lover is not getting him. shit on here, though. Yeah, I don't know about this. Oh, he might be dead here. He has flash. No, but he's running to, yeah, he's running he's to Sniper, but he's dead. Oh, wait, Sniper might save him, actually. Why didn't JoJo flash for that? Wait, Sniper! What is... Oh, my God. Okay. Why not just run, though? It's fine. Buff transfer complete up to Sniper, so. who now has blue buff. Um, but I think he was the out, thing no? That was set up by that I think he was out. Well, he shouldn't have been. I feel like Jojo could have flashed on him, but I think he was out. He walked back into CC Blabber and then died to Jojo. Yeah. And now it's red buff. Jojo, now it's red buff. Really yeah. Annoying. No, this is bad. bad. And I. I don't think blue I mean, I think buff rumble helps at all. Yeah, it doesn't. Forward, doesn't do much. I'll be much. super curious to see a how this top. The gold's gonna help a lot though. With now sniper but he also has no ignite, which is gonna make it hard to get a solo kill. He didn't need to ignite him too. And then also what no yeah, that's true. Able do as we see Vulcan already on a yeah. roam towards mid. They're trying to put Quid in the dirt. Jojo has the red buff as well, which is gonna allow him to push Quid even more. Getting his shield off. Vulcan, I think he's here in case there's like a jungle cover and they go for the jungler. I don't think they can actually do a dive on Quid this early in the game. No, there's there's not enough damage there. Especially I think I think it was a bait in case uh, Quid right? went in. A whole lot of risk involved. But Quid doesn't have lethal tembo, so it's like his all in super weak. Man, this really sucks. I swear it's blue buff or it's red buff gap right now. Yeah. yeah. Like a little bit of it. Oh, a nice Q though. So let's see how things are going to continue playing out here with both our junglers in the bottom half of the map. Balling needs to base. I mean, this ball is going to be so hard either way. I think it's going pretty well, though. Like, yeah. If they can get this base off, it's really, really fine. Oh, he's getting... Wait, he's he's getting ganked here. Can we kill him? Renekton's there too, though. Oh. Wait, can Ayla. we... Oh, uh, I think they all... Oh. Almost. That sucks. Renekton was here too. Dude, how is Renekton here? Yeah, and once again, yeah. That's craziness. A positive play for C9 met with a set play that River was trying to go, avoiding that vision, right? Trying to help out Quid. And so Quid's going to get pushed... I mean, if Quid buys boots, it's not the worst, honestly. If he can buy boots first by... Yeah, and it's... Oh, he can't crash that wave, though. A good early game for Cloud9 once again blabber and early start on this drake the bot lane oh they can dive oh no no they're doing drake we've talked a lot about fudge and sniper but berserker mm -hmm. has really shown up this series he was very poor compared to his standards in the regular season and has been very good in this specific series a thousand damage per minute in the first two games almost a thousand gold up oh my god wait why does he do so much damage again a big lead in the third game. what the hell there's two grubs went over to river and oh no river oh. we can't be queuing that giving it away to the second part of the spirit orb jojo stops under thieves from being able to have full grub control let's talk about jojo's re for a bit right because mm, this okay. was the pick when he was on uh evil geniuses where everyone was like Jojo can only play Ari. Like his team <laughs> loses if he doesn't play that. Uh, Blabber's kind of running straight top. I feel like this kind of works. Sniper always dies to these. River is close, the, so if the they don't kill him super the quickly, they, they lose the two v two. Hundred loses two v two? Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. They should uh, focus. What the? Oh, it's a beautiful bait. It's a beautiful bait. Oh, and he flashed. He always dies to these, man. Always, always. I swear. 
Get fudge oh, my God. Top laner loses both summoner spells and his life. He was not ready for Blabber oh. that brush. And fudge really preying on the tendencies there. You know that sniper subconsciously wants to get these solo kills because he's gone so yeah, many already. Yeah, true, true. He sees the angle, but he doesn't know. He doesn't realize that it's just a bait. Yeah. He was in the river. He was just half a second slow to that. And he even had river close, so he's even more confident. But he just gets one shot. Spike is gone now. And Fudge is able to assist in another kill of Sniper. League of Legends is not a game of seconds. It's a game of fractions of seconds. Yes. And just being there that little bit early is what ends up being able to make enough difference to turn that... What do you think the best first item is on Renekton? Uh, Eclipse. No comparison. Eclipse for sure is the best item you can buy. Oh, okay. First couple of games. Let's take another look at what Sniper thought he had. Yeah. So he does uh, I think that's fake vision, by the way. Oh, wait, he saw no, him. Oh, there's no way he didn't see him. No one saw this Dinzo. Oh, my God. Ain't no way, dude. Everyone 100 thieves that's is so fraudulent. Oh, my God. They literally saw him. And I think the big thing coming out of yeah, no, they're, they're actually just, I think, tilted out of their mind. Again, so. this is How is no one looking at the minimap? Five people? They don't see the Dinzo? In terms of he is... Able to affect his lanes. They're doing such a good job of tracking River. River is <laughs> not able to set anything up, oh. even when they think they have the setup and they have evaded vision and they think they have the play. Um, and like you said, C9 has just been sharper across the map and it's paying off in not only a gold lead, but again, Blabber has also been first to that Drake. Every yeah, 100 Thieves plays NRG of after this game. Of bot or mid like if they lose. Been able to have. And they play next week. Really need no, no, they play this week. No, they play this weekend. Yeah, in two days, right? Uh, I don't know which day it is, but probably two days. Yeah. Or it would be mid -talk, yeah. But in every game, they have oh! <laughs> JoJo walks away from oh. the river. Honestly, though, I don't even think he would die to that. He wouldn't. Like, like, he would maybe blow his. No, they can't even. I mean, they, yeah, yeah. He would. He would at least get his flash. Yeah, you'd probably get his flash and ult, but. Pretty good. Yeah. Pretty, pretty it's, it's good, Jojo. Well for C9. Unless you're River. Then it's oh, my. Here we go. He's dead again. Oh, you're dead. Back up top Just alt the wave. 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 Yeah, I agree. That he's, this guy needs to alt the wave. Oh, my God. We've got to be alt on the wave there, though. Uh, is collapsing for 100 thieves. It's a collapse. Blabber in lanes, I really do think of him going topside, right? Like earlier, we saw it this year with the Nidalee oh Renekton combination. But even previously, when Fudge was in his. First Literally, season, if I'm any team, his first season, I would just gank top. Today. Um, that was how, like, Fudge was essentially. Sniper, uh, <laughs> he's, he doesn't do the best topside, avoiding ganks. That would be their in uh, towards the early game on the top side of the map. As Blabber and Jojo versus C9 and does, so, does win this. Is, Jojo Actually, Jojo's Oom. I think that I don't win this. Oh. Yeah. 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 From the potential knockup on the tornado, about thirty. Is Jojo about to hit level nine? Drake Otherwise, it's really hard to get this wave like in. To maintain river control, keep Jojo locked here in this lane long enough to do something about it. But Jojo's teleport is about to be up. It will be available here in what's the time? Fifteen seconds. The Drake also spawning at about the same timer, so Jojo will be able to take. A oh my God! Blaber is coming in. Quinn saw the angle, but Blaber is always two, just there, half a second before to River is. To make the counterplay. That's been the Blaber difference in so bot in in mid lane and in top. Had a couple yeah. options there. They could just delay until a teleport is back up, then move in for the dragon. But they got Quid's condition bad enough that they could actually just go for another kill, and it'll make this dragon uncontestable. There has probably been, like, maybe a minute in this entire series where a single lane for 100 Thieves was consistently winning. Like, the bot lane has been pushed in the entire time. It feels like JoJo and Blabber have consistently clapped Quid on the back foot. And Sniper seems like it's almost impossible for him to get a kill. So now JoJo teleports back in with items and they go for more. It's almost impossible for him to get a kill. Oh, and he got charmed. Okay, good. Whoa, Whoa wait. wait. Oh, he's high off. This is looking good. Oh, but it's oh the TP. Oh, they don't even win the fight too. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, this is the saddest thing for Fudge, though. Because he's not going to get an assist. No, tragedy. Oh, he gets oh, he a kill? Gets, he, gets, oh, he gets an assist. W. No, that's FF, though. That's... Aw, oh, dude, they're actually... Like... 
Oh. This game's even worse than the last games. So. Yeah. They didn't even seem to need it progressively got ball. worse. That's the best <laughs> feeling as a team. Not better, worse, literally. Yeah. Oh my god, the fraud allegations. So they go in for the no, it's just C9's playing well, you know? It's C9. <laughs> it's just C9. And Berserker is untouched. Lethal Tempo Varus hitting the entire time. And Fudge, the only contribution he makes to this fight is this final stun on Dequid after the charm has landed. So, what is that goal lead now? 4,000 at 12 minutes. The early games have been absolutely disastrous. How can you not smile, Quinn? Cloud Actually, has won. Smile, smile through the pain. The Look, man, I'm through the pain. Downer here, but I don't Actually. even know what you do as 100 Thieves to try to Hey, they're getting Drake though. That's something. Of an avalanche early yet again. It Drake. feels like yeah. you're relying on a C9 mistake. They will grab that Drake, so at least C9 won't be stacking towards the soul yeah. for free this time. Yeah, and that actually is. Yeah, now Rumble's already outscaled as well, right? He has full eclipse. Drake stacking that C9 has had in both series, being able to. to I mean, there's. The, I don't think he ever wins one v one now. Yeah. Yeah. No. 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 It's it's completely done in the one v one. It's still not looking great. I mean, this game is completely over. Like, let's not let's be serious. This game is not playable. Yeah. It's just a matter of uh, how, like, when do they lose it? They're down 4k before 4 I think it's already completely unplayable. Yeah, when will they the next would definitely explode? remake this in scrims. Oh, yeah. Look how unafraid Blabber is. He's just like, yeah. He's so strong. That's fine. Yeah. Like, I can deal with whatever you guys... Like, he's literally just 1v3ing by himself. Like, yeah. Oh, absolutely. And then the only champion that can do meaningful damage to you is the guy that can be most likely shooting you from outside your ulti range, so you just disengage and walk away anyway. I mean... If you they need a T1 versus, what was it, World Elite damage, at Worlds, like, eight years ago? Face, you've probably got bigger problems, you know what I'm talking about? No, which one? Right now. The the Rakan, Orianna, Rumble, Wombo combo? I don't remember that. Oh, he's going for it. Oh, but JoJo's here. <laughs> no! <laughs> it's every time, man. But it feels so good. Yeah, that was a really good try, though, honestly. Like, he needed... I mean, Fudge, I, to be honest, is, Fudge is doing such a good job at baiting Sniper for this. Yeah. Like, this is not... I, I don't think it's fair to just, like, purely... Uh, no, Fudge is doing good. He's, yeah. He's baiting him to go all-in him at the timers where either his mid laner is moving or his jungler is right behind him. Exactly. He's very well played. He's playing it's, it well. It's... it's he needs an Oscar for real. Kind of I think he had a really good series, Fudge. Not only through, he played like, well. Actual shot calling, but through plays on champions like Dive in. I think Blabber, Blabber might dead. actually get player of the series. What do you think? Who will get it? Um, honestly, I think Fudge will get it. Or Berserker, but not because he... I think Berserker because he died right now. Maybe not. Heavily down. That, that that kill is actually giant. To basically one shot back yeah. Line, like that's how I'm not sure. Actually. I don't know why. I don't know why Berserker is there. It's an Alistair, so there's no way you're ever surviving a dive. I think Fudge might be able to get it because of because uh, of uh, how like I think he shut down Sniper in a way. Yeah. And no, didn't, I think, I didn't allow defense. didn't allow hundred thieves to to their win con right. Their win con is Sniper gets soul kills, takes over the game. They gave up and he, he yeah. didn't Berserker let them do that. Yeah. And then it came I think I think front runners are Berserker or Fudge. They were able to lock down JoJo's Akali. He also only died one time so far. Uh, so I do appreciate. So. Yeah, in, in like a fake it's death when they're like sitting at the enemy fountain. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like a completely fake death. Mm -hmm. No, no, he died one time as Jax when uh, it, it was a real death. One of them was real death. Wait, really? Yeah, he died oh, okay. a real death. Yeah, but okay, but okay. but the other one I think was fake. Or no, he only had one actually. It was the real one, but. Uh, yeah. Maybe they don't, they don't have itemization. I swear he died at the fountain, but okay. Um, oh, he must have had two deaths uh, if he did die at the fountain. Maybe, maybe I'm just misremembering. Will try to look for windows. I'm sure I am. My memory's not what it used to be. He's, he's, uh, he's and now he actually wins the one v one, so it's a bit tragic. I think no, I think Snapper can maybe live. No, no, he he doesn't. He only has tier one boots, so he's at. Oh yeah, he's fucking. 2017 Samsung. What's the significance there, chat? It's doomed. Uh, chat, chat needs to tell us, but okay. there's something to it. I just don't know what it is that his little Zoomer brain has. Because he was, he was 10 <laughs> when that team won. Zoomer brain. <laughs> he was 10 when he spammed that icon, when that icon was oh made. Oh my gosh. 
How do we know he'll even remember? I don't remember anything from when I was 10. That like, part of my mind just doesn't work. So, like, Core JJ won that world championship. <laughs> okay. There's some yeah. connection. That's for the future, but that okay. was straight. All right, all right. Maybe, maybe we'll figure it out. JoJo lands a charm on Quid, takes half his HP as JoJo and Blabber yeah, try to get away. Yeah, the gun. Combo Blabber. Oh, he is gonna survive. die. It looks... Oh, maybe not. Wait, why is he still alive? Yeah. I mean, look at his items. Oh, my God. Tabby's Warden's Mail. Oh, it's Warden's Mail's got Todd. Warden's Mail yeah, got I mean, The only AP damage isn't there. Yeah. Gold lead 17 minutes in. Just an absolute Meech is going AD, so now it's just sniper solo AP, which I think oh, is yeah. actually fine from a compositional this perspective. But it's not fine when you're down AK. Has been. People had been flaming them for picking winning lanes and not being able to convert to victory. But these three games have probably been 8.5 gold lead in 17 minutes. Oh my god, as a five man unit. Watching this one more time, Blabber is flexing his golden eye. It always feels wrong when you're going all in onto the Zinzo when you're behind. It just feels wrong. Yeah. Yeah, and it looks kind of good, right? Because you're like, oh, they're getting a little bit of damage on them. The Rel Engage comes off. Oh, that was a good E by him. Maybe we have Blabber locked And good flash. Wow, well, he played that really well. Yeah, and, and good peel. I mean, JoJo is literally standing right beside him and dealing so much damage. Their back line. They have no answers for him or Blabber right now. And I really love the way that Blabber plays it because he uses his audacious charge after he pops the ulti to get far enough away from Quid that Quid can't chase. So now it's just two meatballs mm. and yep. Meech. And he flashes away from Meech. All that's left is two meatballs. Blabber does not care about either of these guys. It ends up working out beautifully. And now he's just stealing away more chickens. The man is running. <laughs> we must open. Half thousand gold lead. Two drakes to one. The grubs don't really matter that much. It's three grubs that doesn't really matter. It man, is what tragic what's happening in this game. From C9 in this game. And the last game. Four and four the game before that. For JoJo's yeah. Zero and three for Fudge I think when we tweet, Jet, you were bringing up previously in the I'm series. excited for the series. Because yeah. like, I don't want to remember this. <laughs> You're excited for the C9 versus 100 Thieves series. Yeah, like I'm excited for, I'm excited for 100 Thieves to show up. <laughs> Mid, 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 because Quid's an MVP candidate. A lot of people uh. think JoJo's the most important player on Cloud9. What's happened there? Blabber and JoJo have won by a landslide, but I think the things that have made this series so one-sided is the fact that Fudge has also completely outclassed Sniper, and Berserker has been him, right? Berserker has not <laughs> been him in the regular season. My opinion, he's not going to make first, second, or third team All-Pro. He might, but his actual performance in the split was not that strong. However, the quality of player he is, people still don't necessarily doubt that, and he is absolutely turning it on this series. So you'd say in the series, he's much closer to the faker side of that graphic than the Raz From side. last week, yeah, yeah, yeah but it's, okay. it's more about he's just, like, <laughs> he is, he has presence in this series. Yeah. He's consistently pushed up. He's staying safe. I don't know what else is there to say. To deal the first they just gotta like, do Baron like, and close it out, pretty sure. I like, I like JoJo's choice to go Zanyas. Huge chunk damage because they're ahead, so I like defensive game. items, and especially against Yasuo Wombo combos, it feels really safe to have Azanya's backing you. But overall, they dominate the lane, they kill the turrets. He's gonna be that ticking time bomb of auto attack damage Varus at the end of the game. I actually like Rel Jungle a lot, by the way. For me, I do too. They've translated that it doesn't do any damage, but right? yeah. it has so much CC. Yeah. Drake almost at spawn off of that bot side pressure mm -hmm. that Berserker and Vulcan are generating. Even earlier in this game, we saw Vulcan going for those super early roams, understanding roam timers off of what they can do from bot side pressure. And I think if there's something that impresses me way more about this C9 team, it isn't necessarily an individual performance, but it's how they're translating their actual advantages to Quid's going shield bow really second. Stifling anything mm. that Hunter that Thieves does not seem right. You need damage, my guy. I like that you're you're getting destroyed. Playing around the map. Yeah. Now we're getting to the point of the game where since this rumble. Me just two items out, though. It's yeah. gonna be a big disadvantage. Okay, Jojo. Me is really strong. Pressure. Yeah, but yeah, that's a frozen heart, Zinzo. Yeah. Looking for any kind okay, of good, goal. good jukes. There's the charm, fine sniper, chunk of damage, but nothing they want to commit to just yet. 
It's an NA ram, boys. All five mid, both sides. Let's see how it rolls. Fudge is walking down towards the bottom lane, and this is what I'm talking about. C9. I feel like this favors C9 doing this. But Jojo doesn't have vault anymore, so. Fudge can rejoin while applying pressure to bottom at the same time. I really feel like Hunter Thieves is just hoping that something weird happens because they are down 9,000 gold and they need a one shot to start this fight. Oh my. The equalizer. Unfortunately, was a little weird. It doesn't find a whole lot of success. Yeah, he cannot ult like that. He needs uh, Rel to go in and then ult, or even ult star. You can't engage with Equalizer. Cannot. It's not an engage. It's a secondary engage uh, ability. Unless they're in a choke. Agreed. Oh, I mean, he's, just, he's really pushing people back. Yeah. Yeah. What a show of dominance from C9, right? Like, Fudge is just taking towers bot side. He's now TPing top, gonna push out that top side wave as well. And like you said, this TP advantage gives them absolute side lane control as well. We, they were reading those Reddit comments where they're like, I don't think C9 knows what a side lane is. Well, guess what? They learned. Okay. C9 starting the Nash. This is what you said. Quid got his second game, item. So honestly, in terms of item difference, it's just top and jungle. Mid and, mid and AD are basically yeah, even. So Jojo has a needless season. over. But, this is, but you know, I mean, this, it's just dead. They can't even get close. I think, to it. I think they just end the game, like off this uh, Baron. They should be able to. I, I was, I was thinking there might be a fight, but I, I guess they can't even walk into the jungle. Now, whether yeah. Whether they can sustain this, since like literally, this is one day of data. We yes. have like six weeks of regular season data where they worth this. So this isn't necessarily like, oh yeah, they did the series. This is always going to be them. That's cope. They need to have <laughs> a way of showcasing this level of performance. As they I think it's because River was and sick, you know? Like, I think if River wasn't sick, it would have been a different story, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I agree. <laughs> Nick Jersey? I don't think this guy's Ooh. dying. Oh! Nicely done there with the charming... Oh! Foxfire. Jojo he kind of landed everything on him. I feel like he. Hmm. The right way, man. Yeah. Five, I don't know, played. Zero and six on the re. Eleven out of fifteen kill participation, tied with his own jungler for highest KP. Five hundred thieves. So, what do we do for RNG series? For the next NRG. Uh, NRG series. Start talking about that. <laughs> Already start talking about it. <laughs> What's Palafox's champion pool? <laughs> To the sides. Oh, Shut down mid jungle and then their team to ceases that. to function. Knock That's what I'm thinking. Tier two turret up there in the top lane. It is a seven to zero turret count this game. I'm kind of curious how many turrets have hundred thieves got in this entire series. Mm. I'm you know, honestly, this is bringing back painful I'm memories for me. It's about two. yeah. Yeah. I've gotten swept by C9 game, twice. Three, oh man. Was definitely the closest. And then like it's actually so unfair that I've had to play C9 twice, dude. <laughs> like ah, that, yeah, okay, that is unlucky, honestly. Like, but also, dude, C9 is freaking good in playoffs. They always are insane in playoffs. I know. They I don't were, know how. I mean, especially I Blabber, right? Every time. Yeah. Yeah. I was last seed both times, and I had to play against C9. Like they had to lose to play me twice. Oh man. Oh my God. Berserker's down. That was a really good engage by Ayla, by the way. Like, insane engage. Yeah. That was their last best shot. Wait. They didn't shoot straight enough. Blabber. No. Oh, no, they didn't. The Jojo's alive. I mean, yeah, if they weren't down 15k, then they would have won that fight, you know? But they just were too far behind. C9 comes out into the playoffs. I didn't like how much they were laughing and smiling while getting stomped. I know, I like it, that. It's a way I to cope, oh, man. It's a way to cope. They're obviously I, super I like upset it. about this loss. Uh, well, yeah, you're. what are you? Like, you're going to look depressed and have the cameras on your face. Looking sad. I like it. You should be glad, you know. Like, it's fine to get stopped. You learn from this. I will never forget the moment when I got swept by C9. And then I took off my headset and I heard the crowd cheering. Oh, it's like dude. a core memory for me. I was so upset that I lost. And then I hear so many people so happy. And I was like, it like broke me. Man, that's tough. That's actually so tough. That's the worst feeling. Yeah. Like, I know what you mean. That's why, right? Yeah. You get absolutely stomped in a really intense playoff game. Best of five, like a game five type of game. Take off your headset. 
Everyone's cheering, and you're, and you're just... like, dude, they need to shut up now. <laughs> 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 they need to be quiet. This is not yeah, they need okay. to quiet down. Happy. They can't be happy for other people. They need to be happy for me and me only. Yeah, exactly. Screw the other team. Oh, that's so fun. But Sniper adopted for now, yeah, where he's adopted for now. That was tough, man. That was tough. There is no third for hundred thieves now. They'll be fighting to They'll come back though. They'll come back from this, I believe. Uh, 